Hey Libra, welcome back to my channel. So we're going to get into it and see what's the vibe, see what spirit has for you guys at this time. Thank you guys for joining me. Thank you guys for all your likes, comments, subscribe, shares, views, tips, and donations. I really appreciate you guys. So if you have Libra anywhere in your chart, you belong here. Take what resonates, leave what does not on this table as this is general. So Libra, let's get into it and see what's going on. What's the vibes? use this deck to see what the overall energy is surrounding you guys at this time. What is the overall energy here for my Libras? What is the overall energy surrounding my Libras at this time? <laughs> we have miserable as fuck and pregnant. So somebody is miserable as fuck in a relationship, maybe because the person is pregnant, all over his dick and on the bottom of the deck. So somebody is in a relationship miserable as fuck. Maybe this person is pregnant by them. Maybe that's why they're miserable because of the pregnancy or they're just miserable in general, but then this person is pregnant. So let's go and see what's going on. This person can have multiple people all over their body, masculine or feminine. Somebody actually could be in the Eight of Swords. Let's see what Kevin has to say about this overall energy. What's going on here for my Libras? We have journey. So this person is definitely wanting to go on a new journey, take a leap of faith, maybe move away from this situation. <laughs> we have thoughts, poverty, child in reverse, and despair. So someone could definitely be thinking of someone else and maybe they're miserable with this person. Maybe they don't have any money. Maybe this child is not theirs. And now they're in despair. They don't have a job, right? Maybe this person is pregnant and they don't have any money. What is the message here for my leaders? We have immature men, right? Because it's in the reverse. So somebody is definitely dealing with an immature man. Maybe wanting to travel away from this immature man, but can't because they're pregnant. Occupation. So this could be someone from their job. Maybe this person is in a relationship with, <clears throat> with one person and have another person pregnant. Maybe somebody they met at work and they do not have high honor or see this person in high honor. <clears throat> not being spiritually protected at this time. Messages here for my Libras. Purpose lady. So we will clarify a main male on the bottom of the deck. So maybe this man is in a relationship with this feminine for money. But they got pregnant or they got someone else pregnant. But we'll clarify. Next one in the T. <clears throat> Someone could want a passion in New Beginning. That's why they're wanting to travel. They don't want to be in a four sword. I mean, four cups. They could be trying to heal. We have the star. So this person could want to travel towards the star and Aquarius. <clears throat> this masculine could be in Aquarius. This person could need to heal. Maybe from this relationship with this uh, immature man. Or woman. Occupation. Six of Cups, Five of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. So this could definitely be someone from your past that you left out in the cold. You're not communicating with. Could be an earth sign. Uh, Virgo Sun or uh, Taurus or Capricorn. 
but someone from your job maybe or someone that you worked well with at one point you could be 34 you could be 43 you could be born on the 12th but this <clears throat> Damn me, like, look, there's an ending. So, someone could have lost a job or be going through a transformation. We have the Knight of Wands here, very lustful energy. You guys are moving forward from this. Maybe you were with this person. <clears throat> Damn, miserable as fuck. And now you're being divinely guided away from this person, moving forward, forward travel, right? Because this card doesn't even belong in this deck. You put an end to this situation, and now you're moving forward. Clarify high honor. High priestess in reverse. So someone could have definitely been uh, keeping some type of secrets. Could be an Aries. They're not in high honor. They're not divinely protected. Look, devil. So this person could have definitely been doing some type of magic. Maybe they did magic to get pregnant. What's going on with this high priestess devil in the verse here? They're in the four of cups. This could be also a very jealous person. They could have juggled. They could have juggled you for this person, or they could have juggled this person. They were in a relationship with an Aries feminine. Or any feminine they were in a relationship with. But this person is in limbo. This person is definitely wearing a mask, selling a sword's energy. A thief, liar, a cheat. Clarify the privilege, lady. So this Aquarius uh, could definitely be wearing a mask. Or this could just be this purpose lady strategizing to get to the Ten of Cups, right? This privileged lady could be a Pisces male. Or they could want to strategize and go towards a privileged lady. Or they could have been in a relationship with a feminine because of their money. Maybe that's why they're miserable as fuck and then they had a baby. Or Again, guys, take your resonates, leave what does not on this table. A queen of wands. Definitely Aries energy, Leo energy. Yeah, Queen of Wands keep coming out. So this is definitely a fire sign. Maybe this person is burdened now. <clears throat> They're miserable as fuck. They having a baby. Or they got somebody else pregnant. This high priestess in reverse is not high honor. They're not divinely protected. Somebody could have lost a job. Clarify the star. Somebody could have definitely had a third party. Somebody could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Look, Pisces energy. Maybe you guys are moving forward. You're holding back. You're the star or you're healing from this. Now this person wants to rush in with some kind of communication. Clarify the lovers. Six of wands. So this immature man <clears throat> or woman you were in a relationship with could be a Gemini. They could have Gemini Mercury. But it's like you guys are getting victory and success after this backstabbing betrayal. Public recognition. Clarify the death card. Look, left out in the cold. We had that come out before. So you guys definitely ended it. <clears throat> left this person out in the cold. This person could definitely be going through uh, some type of poverty at this time. We have two of cups. So this is definitely someone you're in a relationship with. Again, you could have met this person at work. Whether at your job or their job. Well, if I had a two of pentacles for a cup, so it's high priestess in reverse. Look, the devil. Could be a Capricorn, but this could be somebody that's just the devil. 
could be a Virgo. Um, this person could have actually did magic to keep this person bound to them, to be in this miserable relationship. It could have been a sex-based relationship. But this person is not seeing this um, high priestess in reverse as high honor. Clarify the seven of swords, ten of cups. Magic. So somebody could have tried to do magic on a privileged lady. Somebody could have been in a relationship. Again, like I said, this person could have had money. So this person stayed in a relationship because, first of all, this person did magic, created an illusion to be in this Ten of Cups. What if I said to them, look, they didn't want them to move forward. Now, this person could have possibly turned their back and then watching their ships come in. They want an equal give and take. They want a new cycle in love. Trying to manifest. But again, if they were doing any forms of magic, it's like it's backfiring and they're having conflict with their family. People be doing the most, baby. What about the Father Pentacles? Who's in Father Pentacles? This fire sign. Definitely um, left out in the cold and lack. Um, you're divinely protected from this as well. Or this person is having drama. Look, this person is in a nine of swords, can't eat, can't sleep, anxious, worried, worried about this king of pentacles, or they're the king of pentacles. Clarify the devil. Return to sender blocked. So whatever they was doing is blocked, is return to sender. And spirit said that's a fact. This person could possibly be under spiritual judgment at this time. Clarify the seven of cups. Look, can't make it up. It was causing an allusion to this star. Could be a Leo for some of you. Could be an Aquarius, but big Empress energy on the bottom of the deck. You guys are guarded now. You got your boundaries set. You working. This past person is wanting to come in and work with you, but this is uh, justice for the lies and the hidden truth. This person could have had a, uh, a hidden marriage or a hidden relationship, but they see you as wish fulfillment. But they backstab and betrayed you multiple times. They could also be um, getting backstabbed, backstabbed and betrayed by this person from their past. Damn, spirit, what's going on here? Spirit said, take note, pay attention. So take note and pay attention. You guys have new projects coming in, new beginnings. We have the journey card here. You could be born on October 12th. You could be born 1010. Spirit said, all things are working out for your good. You can also say this. This is an affirmation. Messages from our Libras. Spirit said, laugh at this, giggle, laugh. This person could love your laugh. You could be funny as fuck, have a great sense of humor. Look, lessons never a loss. <clears throat> so this is definitely a lesson, never a loss, right? And somebody's saying, I wish I, I wish I saw your work at the time. I feel like an idiot for playing games with you, right? Maybe playing around. And uh, choosing this devil that was doing magic, love magic, confusion magic, sex magic. Spirit said, let your hair down. So let your hair down. Enjoy yourself. Don't allow this to uh, knock you off your square, I'm hearing. Continue to move forward. Con if you're worried about the magic part, like I said, it's blocked. Again, it could be uh, a Capricorn. 
This could also be a uh, damn Capricorn is head heavy. So this could be a Capricorn or let's see, or a fire sign, right? Look, can't make it up. And Capricorn again. Or it could be a uh, King of Cups. Or this person is doing magic on this King of Cups. This Scorpio. But this Capricorn, this High Priestess in Reverse could have been going and getting uh, people to help them. There's three people in this card. And they were being relentless about it. But it's going back. This King of Cups could have also been doing magic. Look, but the wheel is turning. For this Sagittarius, you could be a Sagittarius. Things, this is karma. They will get karma. You guys are winning. You guys have new opportunities coming towards you. You could be a tarot reader as well. So let's see. Let's get the hidden truth here. I feel the sexual tension. So someone is definitely wanting to come through and have sex with you. Maybe they're not having sex or they're miserable as fuck. What is the hidden truth here? What's the hidden truth? They said they would do it all again. So they would do it all again. If you met this person at work, they would do it all again. Why is this uh, high priestess in the verse doing magic, dark magic? Why is this devil doing? This person hides their feelings, so they use magic instead. Maybe they don't know how to articulate their feelings. Maybe this person wanted you really badly. And this, this uh, <clears throat> high priestess in reverse is just jealous. You let me down. It's in reverse. So I feel like this, uh, this person, maybe you didn't let this person down, right? If you are not this party that they're in a relationship with, this person let them down or they don't feel let down. They just hide their feelings and do shit like this, I guess. But it's the hidden truth here. Thank you, Spirit. I feel so drawn to you. So this person is saying they would do it all again. They feel so drawn to you. And they don't have a trouble with intimacy. Maybe they're wanting to come through and be intimate with you guys at this time. So let's get you guys some advice in regards to this situation. This could be past, present, or near future. What is the advice here for my leaders? The present moment is fucking amazing. So Spirit is saying this is also in the present moment. But it's backfiring. So don't worry. What is the advice here for my leaders? Self-care isn't selfish. So Spirit is saying love on yourself. Care for yourself. Right? Laugh a lot. What is the advice here for my leaders? Courage is knowing it might hurt and doing it anyway. Stupidity is the same. That's why life is hard. So I feel like Spirit is saying, having courage to move forward, right? From this perfect person or this situation. <clears throat> it's going to be hard, but do it anyway. <clears throat> you may have already moved forward from this. What is the advice here for my Libras? Stop stressing over shitty ass people. So stop overthinking and worrying about this shitty ass high priestess in reverse or this immature male or female. Spirit said it's okay to start the fuck over if you have to. So it's okay to start over. Maybe that's for this person that's stuck in this miserable relationship. If, if you resonate as being that person, because this is the advice for you guys. What is the advice here? Uh, Spirit said, drink with this person. I was doing this shit. They need to drink water and mind their own fucking business. Right? 
And Spirit said, and they need to clean up. So, <laughs> I don't know. But that magic is backfiring. Thank you guys for joining me. And I'll see you in the next one.